Hi, I'm Emmy Hall and welcome to today's episode. Now, those of you that follow me on Facebook and Twitter know that my daily driver is a Miata. I post pictures of her all the time. I've always had a soft spot for two seater rear wheel drive convertibles. So I was really happy to go into the Road Fly Garage and pick up this, the Mini Cooper S Roadster. Now, could its turbocharged engine and quick steering make me forget all about its front wheel drive ness I don't know, let's find out. In a sea of corporate looking sedans and mundane crossovers, the Mini certainly does stand out. With an overall length of just over 12 feet, the Mini is over three feet shorter than your average sedan. The car looks good top up or top down, but it does have a bit of a squatty look. All four wheels are really pushed out to the extreme corners and there's very little overhang. Of course, you can go to the website and build your own Mini and there are many different combinations you can choose from with color, racing stripes versus no racing stripes, racing stripes in the middle, racing stripes on the side, the color of your side mirrors. You can really make this car customizable just for you. Our test model comes with 17 inch wheels, although 16 inch wheels are standard and we've got Continental Pro Contact tires all season, but they are run flats. So the rack top on the Mini is not electric, which I actually prefer. I just have these nightmares of the top kind of sticking halfway and I'm in a rainstorm and I've got pink dye running down my face. It's not cool. But it's still a little cumbersome to get it unlatched. So I can do that. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> but then to really lock it into place, I have to have like super strength tricep muscles or I gotta get out of the car and lock it down. Then to put it back up, press this little button here and then bring it up this way. But then I can't just reach in, see, and get to that center little locking device. So I gotta get back in the car and lock it down. It's quite easy once you're in here, but the whole getting in, getting out of the car is really cumbersome. Now the Mini actually has a fairly large trunk. Come on, honey, there you go at 8.5 cubic feet of space. Now that's because when the top is down, it doesn't drop down into the trunk, so you don't sacrifice any trunk space. So I'm able to give it a trademark laundry basket rating of two, which is excellent for a Roadster. The interior of the Mini retains the same kind of quirky rally car cockpit that we've all come to expect, right? There's tons of toggle switches. You've got your speedometer here, front and center. Now our car does not have the technology package, but if you did, you still have this roundediness here, but you'd have a speedometer just around the edge and a touch screen with navigation in the center. So even though you can get like Bluetooth in this car, the only tech that we really have is kind of this analog looking scroll bar right here in the middle. Aside from that, Everything's just really cute. I mean, it's so cute. You have this round, cute little round key fob and you have this cute little round gear shift knob and this cute little round uh, door opener and this cute little round speaker here. And oh, the cute, it's so cute. This cute little openometer that tells you how long you've had the top down. It's so cute, everything in this car is so cute. It's so cute. Cute. <laughs> This chassis is really one of the stiffest that I've ever been in. And there's a very little body roll thanks to the uh, anti-sway bars in the front and the rear. You've also got a McPherson strut setup in the front and a multi-link setup in the back, which means that this car really is a true corner carver and it's an excellent, excellent choice for autocross. Now, unfortunately, our car does not have the optional sport package, but I want to mention it because I don't know why you would buy this car without it. Now, with that, you get a more aggressively tuned suspension that's going to let you tack the corners even, with even more speed. And while dynamic stability control is standard on all minis, you also get dynamic traction control and electronic differential lock control, which allow you to be, well, more aggressive with the mini than you really deserve to be. <laughs> Of course, it's not all unicorns and rainbows here in Miniland. There are a few problems still with this car. First of all, Mini claims that it's gotten rid of torque steer by employing drive shafts of equal length, but I'm here to tell you that it is still lurking around a bit. The steering, while being heavy and pretty responsive, doesn't offer a lot of feedback, and it also doesn't reliably return to center, especially when it's in sport mode. I'm kind of dying for a short throw shifter, and this Mini needs to go on a diet. I'm not sure how many 2,750 pounds are. When it's got 250 pounds on the Miata, it weighs more than a Honda Civic and it weighs almost as much as a Toyota Corolla. Frankly, I found myself kind of wrestling with this car, especially when it was in sport mode. The Mini 
Cooper S Roadster starts at about $27,000. And our test model here with the premium package and a couple of different styling options comes in at 33,650 smackaroos. So, is it enough to make me leave my beloved Miata? Well, it gets better gas mileage. 27 in the city, 35 out on the highway, combined of 30 miles per gallon, that's a lot better than the Miata. And it's got more power too, especially compared to my second generation MX-5. But it's still front wheel drive. And frankly, I prefer a little bit of oversteer to a little bit of understeer, you know what I'm saying? So Minnie, you get this car in rear wheel drive, then we'll talk. Until then, I'm Emmy Hall. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, have you found me on Facebook and Twitter? I'm not sure that you have, you really need to get on that. You can also join our community by subscribing to our YouTube channel and leaving me your comments. Trust me, my self-esteem rises and sets on what you say about me and my videos. That's all, thank you so much for watching. Have a groovy day, bye-bye. And in case I ever decide to lock Ross in the trunk, he can charge his iPhone because there's a cigarette lighter in the trunk. Ross has an Android. Ross has an Android. Of course Ross has an Android. <laughs> Yeehaw! Ooh, I love this part. Whatcha <laughs>